Hey, in this video, we're going to find out what is a crypto mining rig. Crypto mining may not have anything to do with pickaxes, but it sure has a lot to do with mining rigs. If you're new to the crypto scene, you might have heard this term thrown around and wondered what it actually means. Well, the time has come to address it. I'm here to accompany you on your way to understanding what mining rigs are all about. There are many layers when it comes to crypto mining. In my previous videos, I've covered the basic concepts of crypto mining or crypto mining pools. But the practical questions about mining rigs, for example, how to build a crypto mining rig or what are the costs of doing so, and how complicated it truly is, require a deeper look. As you'll see, crypto mining rigs are not an entirely technical question. There are different types of them and every miner has to choose what kind of rigs they're going to go after. Welcome to Crypto Finally Explained, the most crypto-friendly educational YouTube channel for actually learning crypto. Here, I finally explain crypto topics using simple animations, visual doodles, and real-life examples, so no matter if you're 5 or 75, you'll be able to understand it. In this video, we're going to delve into such questions as what is a crypto mining rig, how to build a crypto mining rig, and how much does a crypto mining rig cost. By the end of the video, these devices will no longer be something that's shrouded in clouds of uncertainty. Let's get to it! Alright, as always, let's start with the basics. Let's define the concept by answering the question of what is a crypto mining rig. It all begins with crypto mining. By now, you should already know that cryptocurrency mining is an essential process for many prominent blockchains, such as Bitcoin. It plays a crucial role in maintaining network efficiency, integrity, and security. Essentially, miners validate and verify transactions on the blockchain and add them to the public ledger by creating new blocks. To accomplish this, crypto miners utilize specialized hardware and software. Their main objective is to solve intricate mathematical problems called hashes, which serve to secure the network. In exchange for their efforts, miners are rewarded. And crypto miners can do all of that thanks to crypto mining rigs. They vary in their price, power, speed, and complexity. But let's get more precise. A crypto mining rig refers to a specialized computer system designed specifically for the purpose of cryptocurrency mining. These rigs are equipped with powerful components such as processors, graphics cards, and so on. All of them are optimized for performing complex calculations involved in the mining process. And just like it sounds, it's expensive. It wasn't like this when the mining industry was just getting started. Now, in most cases, things have changed. Let's use a down-to-earth analogy. Imagine someone discovers cooking as their hobby and passion. Before this discovery, such a person may have always relied on their knife skills when it comes to chopping vegetables. But once this person decides to immerse themselves in this activity, they may invest in a specialized food chopper. It's a device that has a very clear purpose and it does it very well. So, when it comes to crypto mining, mining rigs are exactly that. The primary purpose of a mining rig is to enable miners to do their job, which is to validate and secure transactions occurring on a blockchain network. And in order to do it properly and avoid losses, miners have to step up their mining rig game. Mining rigs provide the computational power necessary to perform these calculations efficiently. Therefore, they have to be up to date and powerful enough to stay competitive. For example, in the case of Bitcoin, owning a simple computer is not enough. However, there are other cryptos that, too, rely on mining. Therefore, the importance of how buff your crypto mining rig is depends on what cryptocurrency you intend to mine. But the rules of thumb apply to all of these mineable cryptos. The more powerful the mining rig is, the more successful the miners will be. Now, having that in mind, we can continue learning about crypto mining rigs. However, in order to fully understand crypto mining rigs, general knowledge about miners and consensus mechanisms such as proof of work is a must. If you feel like there are some gaps in your understanding of these concepts, I'd recommend you to watch my videos on these topics. Seeing the whole picture is the only way to truly comprehend the fundamental workings of cryptocurrencies and the decentralized nature of DeFi and prepare yourself to participate in the crypto ecosystem by choosing to become a crypto miner. So don't skip these steps. Okay, by now we have already established what purpose do crypto mining rigs serve. But let's get more practical. Let's address crypto mining rig differences, types and components. To continue answering the question of what is a crypto mining rig, it's time to talk about what they are actually made of. When it comes to becoming a crypto rig owner, there are two primary approaches for acquiring a mining rig. You can either build your own rig by purchasing individual components from online retailers, which provides flexibility and customization options, or you can opt for a pre-built rig from specialized companies. People who decide to learn how to build a crypto mining rig must get to know all about mining rig components, how they work, and how important they are. Let's run through the most common and crucial components of every crypto mining rig. First of all, you can't ignore learning about what's a graphics processing unit, or a GPU. Most often, they're referred to as simply graphics cards. It's the most vital component in a mining rig. It's where all of the complex calculations required for mining cryptocurrencies are being performed. Up next, we've got the motherboard. 
It serves as the central hub that connects all the components of the mining rig and enables data transfers and communication between them. Another one of these components is the power supply unit, or the PSU. And naturally, a power supply unit supplies power to all the components of the mining rig. It is essential to have a PSU with sufficient wattage and multiple power connectors to handle the power requirements of the GPUs and other components. Next, we've got the central processing unit, or the CPU. This little piece is responsible for handling system-level tasks and ensuring the smooth operation of the entire rig. Then, it's time for random access memory, or RAM. RAM provides temporary storage for data that the mining rig requires to perform calculations. It's probably obvious, but higher capacity and faster RAM can enhance the mining rig's performance. All of this requires storage. A solid-state drive, SSD, or hard disk drive, HDD, is necessary to install the operating system and mining software. An SSD is preferable due to its faster data access speeds, which can help improve overall system responsiveness. Now, these components, of course, come separately. You gotta connect them. So, riser cables are used to connect the GPUs to the motherboard, allowing for better airflow and more flexibility in positioning the graphics cards within the mining rig. Mining is notorious for one thing. It definitely does use a lot of electricity. This means that the machines that consume it can get really, really hot. So, a cooling system is necessary if you want to avoid overheating or straight up burning down your precious mining rig. Cooling systems typically include fans, heat sinks, and sometimes liquid cooling solutions to dissipate the heat generated by the components. And finally, after you get the necessary frame, and once all of the machinery is set up, you'll need to get your hands on the right mining software. It gives miners the ability to control and monitor the mining operations, configure settings, track the performance, manage cryptocurrency wallets, and so on. Once a mining rig is set up and ready to go, many crypto miners receive a test of one's character. They get presented with the temptation of something that's known as overclocking. It involves running the components at higher frequencies or voltages than their default settings, resulting in increased computational power. While it can be a tempting option to boost the mining rig's performance, it comes with potential risks. This can lead to increased energy costs and potential hardware stress, which could be lethal for the hardworking machines. Implementing proper cooling measures becomes even more crucial when it comes to overclocking, as it helps to maintain stable operating temperatures and mitigates the risk of component failure. It's like going to the gym. If you're about to hit heavy weights immediately, expecting to see massive gains ASAP, you could simply end up in the hospital because of a serious injury. The same applies to crypto mining rigs and overclocking. Even though the components of most crypto mining rigs are mostly similar, miners have come up with a solution to boost their mining power by employing different types of mining rigs altogether. The most widely used ones are the GPU mining rigs. They consist of multiple graphics cards, GPUs, connected to a motherboard. GPU rigs are popular because of their high computational power and because they are the most universal type of mining rigs. This means they can be used to mine a variety of different cryptocurrencies. But then, we've got something known as ASIC mining rigs. ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit, and this type of mining rig is specifically designed for mining a particular cryptocurrency. ASICs are designed to target one algorithm in particular. Therefore, they can boost miners' competitiveness when it comes to mining that one crypto that they're after. ASICs are very popular when it comes to mining Bitcoin. The cost of ASICs can vary greatly depending on the model and the company producing it. Generally speaking, the more powerful the ASIC, the higher the price. A basic ASIC can cost a few hundred dollars, while the more advanced models can cost several thousand dollars or more. In addition to the upfront cost of purchasing an ASIC, there are also ongoing costs associated with electricity consumption and maintenance. So, naturally, they are usually bought by larger mining companies that have the money to invest in this specialized equipment. Let's consider a down-to-earth analogy to clearly illustrate the differences between GPU mining rigs and their ASIC counterparts. Here's John. John is a farmer and wants to harvest a field of wheat. John has two options, either use a specialized wheat harvesting machine, an ASIC-based rig, or use a group of workers armed with sickles, a GPU-based rig. The wheat harvesting machine is designed specifically for the task of harvesting wheat. It can work much faster and more efficiently than a group of workers because it's designed to do one thing really well. However, the machine is also very expensive and can only be used for harvesting wheat. If, one day, John changed his mind and decided to start harvesting barley, these machines would no longer be useful. On the other hand, a group of workers armed with sickles is a more versatile option. They can not only harvest wheat, but they can also be employed for other tasks on the farm, like planting or weeding. While the workers are not as efficient as the wheat harvesting machine, they are also much less expensive. So, which option is better for John? The answer is that it depends on one's goals and budget. 
If he's very budget conscious and is looking for a cheap crypto mining rig, the GPU-based rigs are most likely the right choice, and vice versa. If the farmer has a large field of wheat to harvest and wants to get it done quickly and efficiently, they might consider investing in the specialized wheat harvesting machine, an ASIC-based rig. However, if the farmer is on a tighter budget and wants more versatility in their farming equipment, they might opt for the group of workers armed with sickles, a GPU-based rig. So, with this analogy in mind, it's easier to understand why some miners opt for GPU mining rigs while others invest in ASICs, and why the answer to a question like what's the best crypto mining rig depends on the context. Having said all of that, we approach the end of this video. By now, hopefully, the question of what is a crypto mining rig will no longer bother you. Understanding their role, main components, and differences will provide you with a deeper understanding of crypto fundamentals and what decentralization is all about. It may even encourage you to become a crypto miner yourself, which would mean that you've become part of the crypto ecosystem. Have you ever considered mining crypto? Maybe you already do. If you were to mine crypto, which currency would you choose? Leave your answers, questions, and suggestions in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, be sure to press those like and subscribe buttons, and let's meet again in my upcoming video. See you there.